Hey everyone, my name is Ankh. Today I want to talk about George Bear. Now those of you who do not know who George Bear is, he has similar knowledge bases like Mr. Gann and he also wrote books. So if you are interested in researching Gann, it is natural you might want to look at his books as well. Today I want to highlight his book the Egg of Columbus. Okay, this is a very small book which contains only 18 pages. Forward reads, The matter dealt with in the work is the hardest and most difficult subject anyone could touch. It attempts to explain the ways to make money in markets by the use of strange, natural but true cycles. Now he is telling us that Using cycles, you can make a lot of money in the markets. Alright? And also this book has a foreword like Mr. Gann's book. Alright? Some writers have used up to 20,000 pages such as Swedenborg. Aetheus used 3,000 pages. Old Greek text used 18 pages. Right? So probably he is trying to point us that as time went by, the number of pages declined. On the next passage, 20,000 pages of Swedenborg covers everything that possesses a cycle. Right? So he is talking about a lot of research is required in order to understand what cycles actually are. Then he talks about we need to know the major moves but we can also trade 400 or 500 contracts and know exact eighth of the price. So that is what you want, right? We just need to understand in which direction the market will be moving, knowing the major trends, right? And that can be explained through cycles. But he also is highlighting here that it is possible to know very small cycles, very small trends in the markets. And it is also possible to know the price and that makes it a very powerful information to hold, right? And then the book reads, The feeling of security, the scare of the unknown, the what will be are terms so all-embracing that we could write volumes about them and truly volumes about that had been written by philosophers. Mostly would be philosophers who did not know what they were talking about. So basically he is telling us that philosophers who thought future cannot be known didn't know what they were talking about because according to him it is possible, right? And yet the entire problem about the feeling of security, about the scare of the unknown can be solved with one single word, even with one single letter, pi, which is a Greek letter. This short statement is so huge that it cannot possibly penetrate in your mind or anybody else's mind without years of research. Again, on the matter of movements to be the movements of wheat, of stocks, of people, nations, or what have you. So he's talking about that this problem of not knowing the future can be solved with a single letter pi. Right? And then he also mentions that years of research is required in order to understand the cycles. Right? And these cycles are applicable for stocks, for people, nations, and everything that exists, basically. That is what he is trying to tell us. Now, this book directly mentions cycles, right? Few books mention cycle directly. Like, this book is directly mentioning cycle. He says that cycles can be used for trading but do not blindly follow bear. 
test it first. He will lie and misguide you. Unlike Gan, when Gan says something is important, it is important. But very, very likely when Pear says in order to do something, he will try to tell you to do something and he will misguide you while you do that. Right? Seven wonders of the world as mentioned in this book. So interestingly, I found an image on Google which shows how close they were placed in terms of proximity. Right? And they were called the seven wonders of the world. I found this image on Google. So thought that it will be something that you want to look at. It's fun, right? The central theme of the book seems to be pointed towards the gastronomy, which is also called as the art of eating. He mentioned a list of food items to be eaten in a particular sequence, to which he points out this is the only valuable information required in order to make money in the markets. Now, is he telling the truth? That's all for this video. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.